theater style. This room layout features seats facing the stage or podium, normally with an aisle running down the middle as in a theater. The layout can accommodate the most people for a given size of room. Classroom style. This room layout features desks or tables and chairs arranged in rows in front of a whiteboard, screen, or podium. V-shaped style. Similar to the classroom style, but in this arrangement the tables and the chairs are tilted with an upward and inward angle so that even the person on the farthest end of each row can be able to see the speaker or observe what is happening without much struggle. Boardroom style. This room features a circular, oval, or rectangular table with chairs on all sides and ends. The layout works well if the group is reasonably small and will spend most of the time talking to each other or listening to one or two speakers who may not be using a screen. Hollow Square Style Similar to boardroom style, but in this setup tables are arranged with chairs on the outside facing an empty center. U-shaped style This room layout is similar to the boardroom style, except that it's favorable for giving presentations, which rely on being able to view a projector screen better. It also allows the speaker or presenter to walk into the hole or opening in the middle of the tables. Banquet style. This room layout is where people sit in groups around tables. This is less appropriate when there will be a lot of presentations from the front of the room, but is good for workshops where each of the groups will be working independently from each other. Cabaret style. Also referred to as crescent half rounds. This room layout is very similar to banquet seating except the seats are arranged in a U around each table so that no one has their back to the presenter or speaker. It is also appropriate for award nights and casual celebrations. <laughs>